that in a minute, I'm sure the other. This is Lynette Chang's set of wheels. It's a very cheap car. And it gets her from here to there to everywhere. It even comes with a sort of detachable U-Haul. Okay. And when she travels by plane or car or boat, her custom-made cycle folds right up. The next step is another quick release here. Lift that up. You can fold it in 30 seconds. It packs in this suitcase over here. And uh, the most important thing about it is it rides like a regular bike. And the handlebars, you should sit here. There's a this bike and Lynette have so been to many places. Trinidad, Costa Rica, Cuba. Back. The greatest thing about biking for me is that, unlike most sports, it actually satisfies three criteria. It keeps you fit. It's fun. But the third thing, which most sports don't uh, cater for, is, is useful. You can actually travel with it, so you can commute. Like her three-month commute through Cuba. Great roads, great people. And a great book came out of that adventure, a book called The Handsomest Man in Cuba, a title and book cover that gives you the hint, this isn't your typical book. But I don't like to do typical things. I guess otherwise I'd... I'd be, no, have a nice, comfortable life by now. Lynette is comfortable about promoting cycling as a sport, as great exercise, and about taking life in. That's what her trek through Cuba was about. It's not so much about me having this jolly journey. I think it's about what we were like before the world started spinning too fast to jump off. Since her Cuba cycling adventure, Lynette's been busy, you got it, cycling about. She has this book and is now promoting her favorite portable cycle, Bike Friday, and getting others like bike enthusiasts Andrews to start new cycling clubs. Cycling is a good activity to get people outside and get their exercise, make friends, and see the area they live in from a different perspective. So what's next for Lynette? More adventures, of course. There's parts of America I want to see. You know, I was uh, talking to a lady who said, Savannah, Georgia is the best place in the world. And <laughs> so I think I'll go there.